Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we start with that uh, closing drive there to, to finish things off? You guys got a big play on fourth down to extend the drive. I mean, tell me what. what yeah, on. I mean, I, I think one of the things that uh, tonight they posed a lot of challenges. They had some talented players. So, you know, when it comes to some of the things we we're trying to do. If you look at our style of offense the first half compared to the second half, they really shut down a lot of things that were super successful in the first half. And I think our team just in general did a fantastic job adapting. And ultimately, those things are ultimately what allowed that last drive to go, right? Their ability to adapt that whole second half is really what allowed that fourth, you know, that last drive to actually happen. What were the things that they kind of stopped you guys and, and what did you try to come back with? Yeah, so I mean, I, I think at the beginning of the game, they were really trying to load the box, right? Stop our run game because we have two talented running backs. And ultimately, that allowed us to throw the ball a little bit, right? You know, uh, Julian had a fantastic game at tight end. He came in for Logan Abood. So he's a backup tight end, right? And coming in having a big game in that first half to really set the stage. And again, they were afraid of that tight end. Right, so they put someone over the top, that means there's one less guy in the box, right? So that allowed opportunities for Devontae and Shane to really kind of take control of the game in the box. How about the last catch there? Was it was that a broken play by Corey or designed? I mean, no, great was, catch by Albert. So actually what it was designed to do is Devontae was to sneak out the back door. We're sprinting out this way, but Albert stopped and went back because he saw Corey in trouble. And they were both in the corner. Right, right. Yeah. You guys came back a couple of times here, so yeah. you know what do you what what's the what's the mood or what are you saying during those when you're down? You know what, what's interesting with these guys is that one of the great things is I don't have to say much, right? The, we've talked about I think Villa in the past. I think with these guys, they perform their best in pressure situations, right? You put more pressure on them, they get more like focused, they get more serious about what they need to do to be successful. I've never coached a team quite like that. I've had championship teams, but I'll tell you, typically every team has a few guys in that huddle that's a little nervous about the situation, right? And there's not one person in that huddle. Everybody's looking, give me the opportunity to make the play, right? Everybody's in the huddle ready to make that play. And that's a fun thing to coach. You know? That's a hard team to stop <laughs> across the way over there. Yeah, I mean, they have some, t I mean, defensively, as you saw, we had a hard time. I mean, we were bracketing guys. We had two guys on some of their best players. So we were sacrificing four defensive backs to cover some of these guys. And uh, we still had a trap problem with it, right? So, um, but again, I, I, think, I, I think when push comes to shove, when you need those big plays, right? Our, our guys, did, thank you. Our, uh, our guys stepped up. I think this is a game a couple years ago, Matt, you guys might not have won. Yeah, yeah. With, no, with, no, with, no, with the same group of kids that are here now. Yeah, I mean, they, these kids I, I coached, I mean, most of these kids that are starting now started as, as sophomores. We had a good year that year, right? I mean, we went six and five and really turned the program around, but we weren't developed, right? I mean, it's, it's taken, these kids have worked for three years extremely hard to put themselves in a position to compete in a game like this. And for me, Going up against, uh, I mean, most of these kids weren't born the last time Salem High School beat classical, right? <laughs> right? I mean, it was 19 years ago. That's a long time, right? Yeah. So, um, again, these kids have done a lot of that, right? We were able to beat Gloucester a few years ago, right? We're turning the tide, right? And this is a big game for our program. Coach, what were your emotions when that last, that last catch was called the touchdown? And could you see it okay? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, you know, it's one of those things that it's not so much the play, it's just knowing each one of those kids, I can feel what they feel, right? I mean, I've been with these kids, I've seen them since they were playing second grade in youth football, and to allow them to have that experience tonight and win for the Witch in a big game like this, um, the motions were, hey, congratulations. Um, I, I, it, my, my heart was just, uh, it, was, it, it skipped a beat seeing all those kids excited, you know? Awesome. Let's see if I can grab